Hi guys. I know. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying. Oh my god, this bitch looks rough. I hit your phone like what's up when you try and get this sex from me. You know I don't mean no disrespect. Okay, I'm back. I had did the intro and my hair was looking a mess, as you guys saw, so I had to do my hair, but I'm back to I'm back to give y'all the intro you deserve. You guys saw the title. Today we're doing like self-care pamper. Today's self-care is going to be mental and physical. Because like I said, I am stressed the F out. I have had a I've, I'm having a rough time, okay? I've had a rough couple of days and it's been so bad that I'm going to get my nails done on a Saturday. I don't ever go to my nail salon on the weekend just because who wants to go to the nail salon on the weekend? Like I'm able and I'm free to go Monday, Wednesday or something like that. So why wouldn't I? But no, I need these bad boys done today. I'm not even going to show you guys my feet because it's embarrassing. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. We need to meditate, we need to clean our crystals and attract some good energy today. By the end of this vlog, I wanna look cute. Fresh nails, eyebrows done, crystals charged, because damn, damn, okay? I don't have another day like today in me. And so I am actively making the decision to start turning things around. And of course, for me, that starts with getting my nails done. Cause why not? Also, I wanna show you guys my leggings. These are gonna be available on my store within like the next three days. They're like those leggings that went viral on TikTok to make your booty look delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna be stocking them just in black at first. But yeah, this isn't what I'm wearing to the nail salon because this shirt is so lenty. I got it thrift shopping in 2017 and like it's always lenty and I don't care. I just, I'm in love with it. Okay, so I'm about to go to get my nails done. Uh, I postponed it a little bit because my sister came to visit me. She was in Myrtle Beach for her birthday, so she stopped here on the way. I could give her her gift and all that. And yeah, if you like my outfit, it's gonna be on my store in a couple of days. I promise this video isn't just for promotion because this is the second thing that I've worn from my store. It just so happens that I like the stuff and I'm wearing it. But yeah, now we're going to the nail salon. I'm doing this thing. I tell myself like, I don't like when I just have on like jeans and a t-shirt or like I don't feel dressed up. I don't feel like I have a real outfit on. So even though I feel a little overdressed for the nail salon, I feel like I determine what overdressed is. And if I say I'm not overdressed, then I'm not overdressed. And I'm tired of like not wearing real outfits places. Like we're in the middle of a panoramic. We're in the middle of a panhandle. Where am I really gonna go where I can wear all my cute outfits, you know? So I'm wearing this in the nail salon. And that's that. Okay, just realized you guys couldn't see my face the whole time I was talking. That's cool. That's cool. Who gives a heck? Let's go to the nail salon. I am taking three crystals with me to go get my nails done because I absolutely need the good energy and the healing energy. I, I need it. Hey guys, I know what you're thinking. Wow, you look worse than you did earlier. I do. I've been crying all day. I've had a horrible day. I went to my nail salon and I waited an hour and they didn't, they couldn't see me. I waited an hour. It was so many people there and they even tried to help me before people that were there before me because they knew me and still when I, after waiting an hour, when I finally got to the girl's nail station, she went to take her 15 minute break. Ah! Mm, I'm having such a good time, you guys. Please, please help. Somebody please help me. All right, guys, it is not the next day, but two days later. Yeah, I'm irritated. But I'm finally out the house to go get my nails done. I went on Saturday and it was so packed that I was like, nah, I'm coming here on Monday. Um, I knew before I left the house because I'm psychic, that's a raven. Um, I knew it was going to be stupid because I was literally saying, I never go to the nail salon on a weekend. But I had a lapse in judgment and I went anyway. So now let's go to the nail salon for real because I really... Really need my nails done. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my nails. My toes are white with like just glitter on them. And then I got glitter on my nails and then pink glitter on the ring finger. I'll show you guys like a better, I'll have like a better angle of it. But I also ordered the Morphe X Avani palette. I really don't know much about Avani. I know she's a TikToker, but the palettes have like 12, I think, water activated liners. And I was like, the looks that I can create with this palette for just $30, I would be stupid not to buy it. I also um went to Burlington yesterday. Brandon and I went to Burlington and I saw those little eyes. Guys, I fell in love with them. As we were walking around Burlington, I couldn't like put them down. I was like, I have to buy these. And then the line was like literally wrapped around the store. So I went back this morning and pick them up because the line was much shorter i will say i got lucky though because after i got online there were only two people ahead of me once i got online i counted as i was like checking out there were 10 people behind me i was like thank god i got online when i did so i'll show you guys the eyes in a second too but i am opening my morphe palette right now wow I can't wait to play with this i'll probably when i do my makeup later on after i take care of these horrendous eyebrows i probably will play with this then i'm really excited i think it's beautiful that looks really good i, I know i don't you look good that looks really good babe i know yeah. yeah i'm really excited about it it looks so good i knew it would the living room is messy so ignore that but yay i think it looks so pretty i'm really excited about it yay all right so now i'm ready to pluck my eyebrows i have tweezers and my little eyebrow razor um, I do my own brows. I don't like to get them waxed or threaded or anything. I like to just do them myself because I know exactly how much hair I want to where I can play with different brow shapes when I do makeup but still look normal without makeup on and like I know how I want it to frame my face. So yeah, I just, it's easier for me to just do my own brows. I know for a lot of people plucking their brows hurts, painful, they can't do it but I promise the more you do it, like the more you get used to it now, I really don't even feel it. Like, yeah, it hurts a little bit, but when you get into it and like when you get used to plucking your own brows, it barely hurts. Someone is making a little cameo. Say hi, Rura. Say hi, Rura. Say hello, people. Say hello. Hey, guys. So it's a few hours later and we are going to the gym it's 12 3 30 time let me tell y'all the truth 12 3 30 be kicking my ass i have to work my way up to 12 3 30 i can't just like jump in at 12 3 30 not yet anyway i'll get there one day but if you don't know what 12 to 30 is it's a treadmill workout routine created by lauren geraldo she's a youtuber slash influencer and it became really popular even kylie jenner does 12 3 30 now and it's an incline of 12, speed of 3 for 30 minutes. It's hard. It's so hard. It been hard. I think I did 20. 20 minutes? <laughs> 12, 20, 20. You guys, the gym was marvelous. It kind of kicked my booty, but it still was really nice. I am going to light this candle. I have my ring light on, or it's not really a ring light, but I have my lighting on in here, but the actual light is off in here in my office right now. Um, so it's like very cool toned, very chill vibes right now, and I love it. Love that for us. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup because I can get some Instagram content out the way and also just feel like a bad B again. I'm going to use the Morphe and Avani Greg palette, but because I, like I said, I don't really know much about Avani, um, because I'm not a fan of hers, I don't know what any of, like all of the shadow names seem to be like inside jokes. Um, but like, who really cares? If it's a good palette, it's gonna be a good palette. I really don't care. Good morning. 
I feel really pretty in this makeup. Like, I really like it. I'm not sure how I feel about the shadows in this palette yet. I don't know what it is, but like Morphe palettes, the formulas always seem very similar regardless of the collaboration or the palette or whatever. These seem just a tiny bit. I'm not saying that the shadows are hard to blend, but they just seemed a tiny bit harder to blend than like my 35B or my James Charles Morphe palette. No, but seriously, they seem harder to blend than the James Charles Morphe palette or like my 35B or my um, Talk and Flirty Morphe palette. Like these seem just a tad bit more difficult to blend. And I, like I said, I'm typically not a purple girl, but this is beautiful. Like this is so gorgeous to me. I never thought I would feel this good, this confident, this cute in purple eyeshadow. I'm really excited.